Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Yesterday, Apple released WatchOS 6.2.5 Beta 5 to register developers. Now, before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course, updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. WatchOS 6.2.5 has been in beta for a while now. This update includes bug fixes, security patches, and general improvements, as well as optimizations. Beta 2 released a couple of weeks after the first, with the third following about two weeks later. These beta releases also included more fixes and improvements. Now, WatchOS 6.2.5 Developer Beta 4, which released about a couple of weeks ago, added on to the list of fixes and improvements. Now, let's take a look to see what, what's new in WatchOS 6.2.5 Beta 5. This update came in at 84.3 megabytes on my Apple Watch Series 1. Now, the small update size is expected as there are no new features within this update. However, we know that Beta 5 brings even more fixes as well as improvements. Apple has not provided us with an official changelog stating what has been fixed, but right off the bat, I did notice that the animations are much smoother than in the previous beta releases. There's a very small delay when trying to access the home screen, but the animation is noticeably smoother than before. Now this is definitely something we like to see, especially as the Series 1 and Series 2 Apple Watch models come to their ends in terms of support. Now performance hasn't been any better than in Beta 3, which isn't a bad thing as this watch has held up fairly well on these latest releases of WatchOS 6, especially when you consider their ages. Now I still need some time to really look at battery life before I say anything to avoid miscommunication. Let me know what WatchOS version you're currently running and what your experience has been like with it in the comments down below. The build number for this watchOS update is 17T608. Now this build number is very close to that of a public release. This does match up with the iOS and iPadOS 13.5 beta 4 build numbers 17.5605A, where the A could mean that this is a final beta. When could we see the full release of these software versions? Well, I'd expect to see a full release of iOS and iPadOS 13.5, as well as watchOS 6.2.5 and macOS 10.15.5 sometime next week, most likely around Tuesday or Wednesday. Now, of course, if I find any new features or come across anything major, I will have an update video. And speaking of update videos, if you're on an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, stay tuned for my iPhone 7 overheating and drain update video coming within the next few days. Now, as always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. All right, everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot. It's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter if you haven't already using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.